there was a psycho killer on the loose in London who only targeted girls. On the first day, he murdered Ava. Amy was murdered the next day. And, he murdered Sam on the third day. The police reached his den, but failed to catch him. Inspector Tom then calls Detective Mayhul to the killer's den. When Mayhul investigates the spot, he sees pictures of three girls on a board. Can you tell, by looking at the photos of these three girls, which girl is the next target of the killer? Lily, Alice, or Luna? Think and tell me your answer by commenting. Let's see the answer. If you look carefully, the killer is only killing girls with brown hair. Ava, Amy and Sam all have brown hair. Meaning the next target will be Alice. Mayhul reaches Alice before the killer, and when the killer comes, he catches him. Detective Mayhul rocks. Let's go to the next riddle. Ronnie was heading back home from school through the forest road. Somewhere along the way, he gets lost. Oh, I need to find a way to get out. He comes across three caves, out of which he has to choose one cave to go ahead. Inside the first cave, there are poisonous snakes which will bite Ronnie. Inside the second cave is a tiger that will eat him alive. Inside the third cave, there are man-eating bats, they will suck Ronnie's blood as soon as he goes inside. Poor Ronnie. Which cave should he choose to reach home safely? Think about it and comment down your answer below. Here's the answer. If you are smart enough to notice, the sun is still up, it's daytime and bats sleep during day. Clearly, this is the safest way for Ronnie. You got the answer right, didn't you? Let's jump on to the next one. Beauty with brain is an extremely rare combination. Fortunately, Lily has both. She is not only a top model, but she is also extremely intelligent. One day, a boy went to propose to her. When the boy approaches her, she tells him to answer her question first and asks him. Which planet was discovered first? The boy begins to sweat profusely. Can you guess which planet was first discovered? Think carefully and let me know your answer by commenting. Let's see the answer. Lily starts <laughs> laughing at the boy. <laughs> Lily asks on which planet he lives. Earth, says the boy. So, it's obvious the first discovered planet will be the one where you were born. The boy stands there, embarrassed. Let us move on to the next riddle. Detective Mayhul was called in to investigate yet another robbery case in town. He came across a man who witnessed the thief escaping. In my car's mirror. I saw a masked man drive off hurriedly. I noted down the number of his car, says the man, and hands over the number of the car to Detective Mayhul. The police managed to find four cars with similar number plates. But, which one of these belongs to the criminal? Mayhul carefully examines all four cars and figures out which one of them belonged to the robber. How? Comment your answer. Let's look at the answer. Since the man looked at the car's number through a mirror, the image appeared laterally inversed, which means that this was the car's original number. Let's look at the next puzzle. One day, a theft takes place in a school. Detective Mayhul is called to investigate the robbery. He immediately reaches the crime scene. There, he asks three people, Stella, Sam, and Alice. Alice says, I was in the washroom. I don't know anything. Stella says, I was hungry so I went to get chips from the vending machine. I don't know anything either. Sam says, I was talking to my girlfriend the whole time. I am clueless. Mayhul listens to all three of them and immediately understands who has committed the theft. How? The hint is in the video itself. Let's see the answer. The theft is done by Stella. If you look at the vending machine, it is a machine for cold drinks. 
There is no packet of chips in there. Then, why did Stella go there to get the chips? This means she was lying. Let's move on to the next riddle. Olivia Mam decides to take a surprise test. Everyone was unprepared and worried about receiving a low grade and scolded by the teacher. Ronnie, one of the students says, I've got an idea. Let's change our test results in Mam's computer. They sneak into the staff room after Mam has left and attempt to open the computer. But here's the catch, the computer has a password and must be unlocked. Ronnie says, I think Ida is the password. Mam may have used the name of her daughter as the code. However, this is an incorrect password. Jacob then says, I know what the password is. How? How did he know? Can you guess what it is? Let's get right to the answer. Ida is the password. But, in numbers. Look at the computer screen. The hint includes some alphabets, with their corresponding numbers in front of them. So, the password is made up of numbers, that equate to the letters, A-I-D-A, -A, spelling Ida. That is, 1 for A, 9 for I, 4 for D, and again 1 for A, making the number, 1941. They enter their password, change their test scores, and exit. Wasn't this exciting? Let us proceed to the next one. Ben is happily married. He lives with his lovely wife and three children. However, something about him always annoyed others. He used to be more concerned about his pets than about his own children. He had parrot, a dog, and a cat. Ben's wife and children weren't happy with this and they frequently fought about it. Once, Ben leaves early for work and when he returns home in the evening, he discovers that the dog has been killed. He immediately calls Detective Mayhul to his place. Mayhul reaches the location and interrogated everyone. Ben's wife says, I was sleeping the whole time. I don't know anything. Mayhul asks her what the children were doing at the time. So, she tells him. They were both reading books and playing video games in the big room, while the younger one was having fun with his friends in the swimming pool. Seeing the scenario and hearing the statements, Mayhul immediately realizes who must have killed the dog. How? How did Mayhul understand? Think carefully and comment on your answer. Let's see what happens. Ben's wife was sleeping. So, how did she know who was doing what? This implies that she was lying. She killed the dog out of jealousy. Let's move on to the next riddle. One day, Jessica goes to the police station and informs Inspector Josh that her cell phone has been stolen. I was walking down the road when a man attacked me from behind, snatched my phone from my hand and fled away. Explains Jessica. Police suspects three people. Inspector Josh calls all three of them. All of them say that they didn't steal the lady's phone and that they had their own phones. Inspector Josh checks their phones and immediately understands who is lying. Can you tell who snatched Jessica's phone? Think about it and let me know your answer through comments. Here's the answer. It's the second guy. If you see the wallpaper, it's a picture of the same dog that the girl is holding in her hands. Interesting. Let's move on to the next one. Here are three pairs of feet. By looking at the image, can you guess which one belongs to a dead person? A, B, or C? A swarm of flies are buzzing on B, which means that this person is dead. For more such fun and exciting riddles, subscribe to our channel.